Hello guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending where you're watching from. Whew. It was a very hectic and uh, also a very, honestly, a very good experience last week. I walked into an office, uh, I went there to do some paperwork in that office and uh, I met a, a lady there in the office talking to the guy that I came to meet in the office while she was crying so bitterly complaining about her husband that the marriage is about to crash and so on and so forth. I listened to her stories and something just blinked into my mind and I, and I said to her, hey madam, why are you crying? And she said, oh, it's my marriage for 20 something years. The marriage is about to break. I don't know what is going on. The pastors have tried. So many people, family members have called and so on and so forth. I said, okay. I said, okay, madam, when was the last time you bought your husband a gift? She said, oh, that was long time ago when we just started. I said, okay, when was the last time you asked your husband out to a restaurant or somewhere to chill, just both of you? She said, ah, ah for this kind of old time? Ah, ah. Oh God, these are your questions, they get a CBO. I said, these are very good questions that I'm asking you because they are very important. Because a relationship that lasts more than 20 years it's not easy. New things has to come in place. You know, all those old things, in fact, they're already exhausted. You need to put in some melodies into this relationship. You know, it's gonna fall apart. And she said, really, she, she, she dried her tears and she looked at me and said, Oga, what are you saying? I said, it is the fact. Okay, since you have tried pastors, you have tried relationship, uh, relations, you have tried friends and everybody and they all failed. Okay, let's try the oracle. She said, no, God forbid, which kind of oracle? I said, I'm not talking about voodoo. I'm not talking about native daughter. I'm talking about me. I am the oracle. I will tell you the facts and the truth, how exactly you should go about it. And if you try it, it doesn't work. Come back at me and tell me. And she's like, bros this is not a joking matter i said listen my dear i have seen so many things in my life if somebody who has never experienced failure who has never experienced setback who has never fought a battle come to you and give you advice tell that person to keep his advice because he doesn't have no experience but i have seen it all I went to Hellfire. I even went there and built my own house, put air condition while the fire is burning. Air condition was chilling me. And the devil came and said, guy, what's going on with you? I said, listen, I don't plan my life here. Any idea I go build. And the devil looked at me and said, if you can do this, boy, you need to walk out of this place. Come on, tell me, you're not gonna spoil my market. So I bought my life back. So that was just uh, something that I want you guys to like chill out with. So come to the real deal. I told the lady, I said, Madam, you know what you're going to do today? What are you doing? She said, I'm working. I'm working. I'm always working. I'm doing two jobs. I said, even do 10 jobs. Kill yourself if you want to kill yourself. But there is one thing you have to understand in life. People always say happiness is free. Happiness is not that free the way you think it is. Because it is what you make of life that is what gives you happiness. Because if you cannot do the things you are supposed to be doing, you won't be happy. If you are not getting the things that you are supposed to be getting, you won't be happy. So in another way around, somebody who is hungry or somebody who cannot pay his house rent, 
or somebody who cannot send his children to school will not just jump up in the morning or jump on the street and start shouting hallelujah and be happy. Mm -mm. It will not happen. It will not happen. That person rather will sit down and start to think about his problem. He will not have time to be happy. So happiness is not really that free the way we think it is. Yes, it is free when good things are coming, when your your pocket is heavy, when things are happening in your side, everything they enter, pam pam pam. You just you just keep on happy. Yes, it is also free because you are not paying anything to be singing or to be happy or to be rejoicing. That is when they say happiness is free. But on a more serious note, it is not just free, 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 free. Okay, let's go back to what we are actually saying in the beginning. So I told the lady, I said, Madam, you know what you're going to do? Since you work two jobs, take time, like 45 minutes. Do you know any shopping mall that is close to you? She said, yes, there is one shopping mall. It's just like 15 minutes away from me. I'll just drive there. I said, okay, Madam, you know what you're going to do? You want to save your marriage. You really want to save your marriage. She said, yes. I said, okay. Go to the shopping mall. Do you know where Kevin Klein is in any of the shopping mall that you know? She said, ah, I used to. I have to. I do. I said, whatever. When you get there, just ask questions. They will tell you where Kevin Klein is. If you get to Kevin Klein shop, uh, shop get a busters. They have three pairs in one packet. Get a singlet. They have three pairs in one in one in one sachet. They get a socks. They have also three pairs in one sachet. Get those Kevin Klein. Take them home. Put them at the side where your husband is sleeping. In his bedside. Leave them there and go to your job. She said, oh, they are very expensive. I said, they are not expensive now, madam. This is just, the, the bus stars is like 60 something, $65, if I'm not mistaken, for three pairs. And the, 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 the singlet are like 50 something. They won't have discount. You can go and see. Maybe there's a promo going on. And she said, okay, I'll just try this. Oh God, look, if, if this thing fail, look, let me tell you, my pastors have failed. Even his friends, they have, in fact, I said, listen, madam, listen to the oracle. Just try this one and see what's up with this thing I've told you. And she said, okay. I never heard this kind of thing before. I said, go and try it. And then I uh, finished my business in that office. Then I, I left. At about 5.30 p.m. in the evening, when I was in the highway driving back home, I got this call because I literally gave her my telephone number and she she called me. I said, ah, why is this woman calling me? God, I hope what I told her was my mind was just like beating boom, 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 boom. I said, hello, madam, how are you? He said, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, you are indeed the prophet. You are indeed this. I said, madam, calm down. What is going on? He said, you know what happened? I said, no. Tell me. He said, I'm at work. And my husband came back from work. Something happened. I said, what happened? Tell me. She said, when she got home, she actually went to the shopping mall, Vaughn, that is in, in Vaughn Mills. She bought those things. She put it right on the side where the husband is sleeping. And she also went and made her husband the favorite meal. And she put that meal in the table and cover it. I think it was a flat house, not there, but she said she made the meal and put it on top of the dining uh, table. And uh, she wrote, honey, this, she wrote, honey, this is for you. So, and she said she left. And just for her to, get a call from my husband and the husband called her and said honey for the past so many years she had never heard that language from my husband honey i saw this uh, 
all these and this uh, t-shirt, who brought them here? They said, ah, she responded to, they used to call their name by, by they used to call themselves by names. When she hear her husband say, honey, uh, she also responded and said, ah, honey, I bought them for you. I went to the shopping mall today to go and do window shopping. I decided to say, ah, my honey need this thing so that I bought this. The husband said, really? He said, yes. <laughs> Then he said, thank you for the food. I just finished eating. He said, okay, honey, I hope you are okay. And the man dropped the phone. Not up to five minutes, she got an alert on her phone, $500 from her husband. She immediately called and said, honey, did you mistakenly send me money? He said, no, I just want you to take $200 and buy me more of those undies and uh, take $300 to buy yours. She started crying. He said, Oga, where are you? I want to come and see you. I said, listen, it's not about seeing me. It's about getting your problem solved. I thank God that you just did that little sacrifice. So many people won't do it. They will say, what is this one even saying? You know, I don't know if I have inspired anybody or if anybody has learned from this little explanation that I have given. Honestly, little things works. These things that you think they don't work are the really things that are functioning. Sometimes you think, oh, this thing is outdated. Oh, I can't know this. Listen, in this part of the world where we are today, with this millennial age that we have, you need to renew things every day. That's why you see when you check out all the cars, check out all the telephones, technologies. Every day, people are working endlessly to make sure they bring out new innovations. You know, that is how it is in, in relationship or so. If you are updated, if you are manual, you don't know automatic is not raining. You don't know that the transmission has to be functioning with seven speed and eight speed. I don't know what you are doing. So, even in, in, in whether your boyfriend or girlfriend or marriages or whatever, you need to rehaul the system. It's always important to rehaul it. Look, always think faster more than any other person in your relationship because that is how it works so many marriages today are lacking because the things that you are supposed to be doing you are not looking up to those things like this part of the world where we are today husband is working two shift wife is working two shift nobody is seeing each other everybody is just busy looking for money at the end of the day you find out that there is no even money in the house there's no money. People are just busy, busy for nothing. Because at the end of the day, when they are busy, they pay bills. The only thing you just hear is bills, bills, bills. But what about your happiness? What about your happiness? Because happiness also makes you have good health. And one thing you should understand about relationship or marriages is this. Positive and negative produces light, good energy. When there is negative and negative, you can't, you can't produce anything. When there is positive and positive, you can't produce anything. So one has to calm down for the other one to get the balance. I don't know which marriage I'm trying to save today. I don't know which relationship I'm trying to save today. But which, any which way it is, learn how to be understanding and learn how to think fast before things get worse. Stop running to people who don't even know what life is all about. Sit down when things are getting bad and things are getting worse in your life. It is the moment for you to relax and reflect and start to think what is the next solution life is not all about money 
Yes, money is good because money can make you buy those things that you can buy, those things that you actually need. But the true happiness comes within and from also your partner or your friend that is with you. When you are able to sit down with somebody that you are comfortably with, you reason together, you fellowship together, that is where happiness comes from. When you wake up in the morning and you know you have someone that you can call in the afternoon and say, hello, how are you? How are you, how are you doing? How is everything going? That is happiness too. You know, to strengthen relationship, you need to do a lot of job. So thank you, my fellow viewers. Thank you, my friends also that are watching. I hope this inspire someone I hope this brings light to somebody that is watching. And if you have any comments on this um, story or this event that I've just shared with you, please uh, comment below. Please also like and share, subscribe. Share it to other people to see, to watch. Those who have who are fixing uh, problems in their marriages or in their in their relationship. Also share to them so they can have a bit of what is going around, you know, because this is not a rocket science. It is not something that, that is so, so, it's not a big deal. Most of these failed marriages and failed relationships, they are not big deals. They are just small, small little things that you need to touch, you know. You just need to touch them so that they can just fall in place. Thank you, my viewers. Thank you so much for watching uh be waiting for another good episode that is just coming i may not share this kind of story because I, I i just came across this one last week you know so i decided to do this for you guys late late night this sunday stroke monday so i hope you guys enjoy it if you enjoyed this video please comment share and like thank you guys god bless you